Good morning, everyone. Actually, it's afternoon. We were up really late last night. We are still sort of in shock. We got an order for these two paintings right here, which we boxed. Somebody wanted to order three of Steph's paintings, so we're about to go out and take an Instagram of the third one, which we didn't box. This is the one right here. Pretty special. Everybody thinks it's pretty special, except Maki wants to go out. I know, it's really warm out. If I let you out, and we can't get that, this Instagram, so. Take the Instagram, and then we'll come back in, and then we'll let her out. Then we'll let her out. How are you doing today? I'm okay. I'm all right. A little tired. Instagram obtained. And it's hunting time. All right, I see you. All those birdies are right up there. They're little too, look at that. Yep. The backyard really does look different with no big tree back here anymore. Can't get over how different the backyard looks. Me either. I'm really excited for what it's going to look like. <laughs> With a little TLC. When the warm weather rolls around? Yeah. Maki doesn't seem to mind it. She's got something, Dad. She's got something. This is the only thing left over from the tree getting cut down. I just counted the rings. 72 rings on this baby. It's it's ancient enough, 72 years ago. What was 72 years ago? World War II? Maybe. I'm just guessing. <laughs> it's a good guess. This is a guy go back in the house. I stepped out of the house. I'm letting Steph rest. I have a handful of errands to run. Just uploaded a new video, a K-drama app review. So go check that out on the main channel. Not the normal type of video we put up there, but it's a good one. Guys, I'm still in shock about Urban Decay. Steph and I did something last night we don't normally do. We took the entire evening to reflect, think about our journey up until now, talk about things that happened in Korea, how we got to where we are today, how something like this is even possible. We so rarely take time like that an entire evening. I set my phone down and didn't check any emails until right when we were getting in bed. Come to the mall, got a Starbucks, and I'm gonna surprise Steph with a gift that we saw last time we were here. I hope they still have it. The thing about Starbucks that is different than Dunkin' is it isn't as hot, hot out the box, so, I slam it. I already finished this thing. Now I'm in the underwear section. So I need boxers, more of them. Maybe I should go for these. Tidy, whitey. We just have access of everything in this country. Actually, that's not true. All over the world, Korea's the same way. Now I'm over the socks section. If I can get these, yeah, I just get that guy's body. Socks and underwear purchase complete. One thing I've been neglecting since moving back from Korea is properly shopping for socks and underwear. And the boxers I like are so expensive. I feel a little embarrassed. You know, I'm walking through the mall and everyone's like, who's this guy with a camera? Maybe they're not thinking that. I know some people are looking at me just now though. Oh well. I'm more embarrassed about how much I spent than people seeing me with a camera. <laughs> here we go, here we go! This is it. This is what Steph and I decided on before. She knows that we're going to get this. She just didn't know that I was coming today. And I just realized after looking at it, I don't know which color to get because brown, our molding is brown in the house so this would match, but we're thinking of painting the room a light color. So we should get this one or this one or this one. Oh man. I came all the way here and didn't think about this. 
I could text her, but she might be sleeping. I don't want to wake her. Shit. <laughs> if I text her to ask her which color I should get, then it won't be a surprise. Ruining the surprise just would shift forward her knowing about the surprise. I should not make a third trip here. We've already been here once. I don't know which one to get, though. What's worse about this is I'm pretty sure she already told me which color we're getting, but it was probably a month ago, so I don't remember which one. I like the white. I kind of like the white better because we have white cabinets in the kitchen and we've been going light colors and the room's gonna be light color. But the molding in the house, at least on the first floor, is dark wood color. You could make a case for both. I think right as I was recording that last clip, she cacaoed me. So I sent her a photo of the two. I'm waiting to hear back. My pick is the dark one. It came right in. See, she's trying to match the molding. I should have known. <laughs> Look at that, there it is. Dark one. She's so happy. I'm glad I had time to come here and do this. I was parked on the wrong side of the mall, so I had to pull the car around and now I'm pushing her out. Real simple solutions to everything. For a split second, I almost left this car right here, way back over there, out of convenience. And then I thought, nope, karma. Karma's a bitch. There you go, buddy. You're back. Actually, I knew that he was coming back and I knew that you were gonna bring this and this makes me so happy. Cause I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, I saw this, I picked it out, I told him that I wanted it, and then I took him to Bed Bath & Beyond and showed him exactly what I wanted, and he went and bought it while I was in bed. I wanted the dark color because dark colors don't show as much, and we do have some dark furniture in here. You mean the, if it gets dirty? Yeah. Well, because it's got shoe storage and stuff like that, so you're gonna have like all that dirt and dust if it's white, it's gonna show everything and I'm not gonna be able to keep it clean and I don't have time. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's good thinking. And I, <laughs> you can make, I said you can make a case for both because we're gonna paint the room a light color most likely, but we got the dark trim. Yeah. But when the, yeah, anyway. But look, look, this can go. You have a couple of plastic crates to get the plastic out. Yeah, I've, I'm probably gonna refurbish them and use them for like painting supplies, like storage. We still have several important tasks to accomplish tonight, including wrapping that painting right there, Urban Decay. But first, one game of cards. What's the name of the game we're playing? We're playing Spit, because we played last night. This is one of the games that we play when we're hanging out together. We played three games last night, and he won two games, and I won one game, but he kept cheating the That's entire time. That's not true. Actually, the reason why she thinks she loses is because we were having a little adult beverage time and it slows down your ability to make decisions quickly if you guys know how to play spit. That's what happened. Tell them the truth. It's that and you were a cheater, no. cheater, pumpkin eater. No. Yes. <laughs> you were there cheating saying, I'm not cheating. You sounded just like your dad. <laughs> Should I swap out that coffee and get you a adult beverage? I have a better chance of winning. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a quick game. It's all right. Did I you cheat? Won Did I cheat? Other than touching both of the decks to see which one was smaller, you didn't cheat. She's so technical, guys. Come on. Did I cheat? I didn't cheat. You can't, when you're about to go out, touch both decks to see which one is smaller. That's... Where is that in the... Another game? How, how, how is that legal? I thought we were going to play one game. One, two games? One more game? <laughs> you want to play another game? No, it's, it's up to you. you... I don't care. I told you one game. You, we played one game and overall you won fair and square because you caught me in a spit. She said I played fair and square, okay. You're forgiven and redeemed. All that and stuff. You just, you just pushed the world a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Slight change of plan, it looks like. Fixing up our house took priority. How close to being finished are you? I am 
quite close. I gotta put the legs on, and then I gotta put the back on, and then I gotta put the cushions on. I am on step nine out of 10. Oh, awesome. It's looking good. You feeling accomplished? Yep. Nice work, baby. Harder than I thought. It is, how many hours later is it probably five in the morning? No. It's not five in the morning, what time is it? Okay, so quarter to one. You did start about 10 though, no, nine? Three hours? I don't know, it took longer than I thought it was gonna take, but it wasn't terrible. No, I think you enjoyed it. Yeah, I did. It was enjoyable enough to do. I can follow picture instructions. Go me. I did miss a nail though. I'm just hoping that... It did get buried in the rug? Yeah, I wanna look for it because I don't want anyone to step on it. We're gonna sit on the new piece of furniture for the first time ever. Ooh, wow. It's not super comfy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay because the point of it is not to necessarily be a comfortable place as much as it is a place to go and take off your shoes. It's supposed to be organized. We're organizing our life. It's, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, and it's extra seating, and I think with use it'll soften up a little bit. The cushions. It'll get more cushy. And we postponed packaging Urban, De Urban Decay until tomorrow because this took a little bit longer than normal. So that's, I'm okay with that. Post offices are closed tomorrow, so can't ship it out anyways. I was like, I feel well, tomorrow like tomorrow it is. What? I'm such a procrastinator, but now I'm being creative and it's inspiring to continue to be more creative. I think I'm gonna go paint. Tonight. Just gonna go paint. That's right. That's what you just said right before we turn the camera on. Thanks for watching, you guys. Positive thoughts for Stephanie's painting session coming up <laughs> that happened in the past. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.